All right, everyone. On this episode of Detour, we have a special guest, Nick Onken. He is based out of New York, and he is, you know, you're a world-renowned photographer, it looks like, everything I checked out. Um, I think this is super interesting because so much of your business is based on travel and seeing the world and capturing all the beauty that it has to offer. Given what's recently happened with the pandemic and that traveling might be curbed, especially international traveling, might be curbed for the foreseeable future, how does it affect the way you think about your job? Because I feel like your profession specifically has become probably outside, for a young person, I would say, if you could figure out a way to make money being a YouTuber, that would be your first goal. The second would be like, if you could figure out a way to make money being a photographer, that's kind of everyone else's goal. And you're able to make a living doing that and thriving. So like, what, what's, what's happening in the world? Like, how, do you, how are you reacting to it? <laughs> well, honestly, man, it's, it's, it's a whole pivot game myself. You know, I think, you know, I, you know, when COVID hit on March, around March 11th, I was on a two week trip out to the West Coast, LA, and I'd done a shoot out in Park City. And then I was supposed to go up to um, Mill Valley for a shoot. And I mean, these are, these are good, good chunks of change for me. And like everything got canceled, like everything got, um, well, postponed, canceled. One of my clients was supposed to shoot out here in New York in April and his whole, um, facility, his like, he, he runs a stem cell clinic and that whole thing, everybody canceled on him. So it's kind of an interesting time. And I've gone honestly, just through some emotional ups and downs, just in general, trying to like, I think a lot of us are, <clears throat> we're grieving what's happening and and what's going to happen with with uh the new wh whatever happens post covid so i think for me a lot of it's you know it was going through that and then kind of thinking okay well how can i create content and i started doing a self quarantine um portrait self portrait project of just things that i do at home you know because i love sharing i love you know especially on social media or i have a podcast and things like that i love sharing things that that make my life better um, I'm a lot into like health and wellness stuff. Um, I make hats as well. So I do custom bespoke hats, uh, things like that. So I was like, how can I tell that story within, within the confines of my home and my apartment? So I've, I've been kind of slow dripping a, uh, like a, you know, just a self portrait project that I've been doing. Uh, that was one of the one of the things that I tried to do, or I was like, I, I started, you know, it's not necessarily revenue generation, but I think, you know, it's also in the idea of, okay, how can I utilize this to create content for other, um, like brands that, you know, whether it's, I, I work with this brand, uh, Peak T, you know, on some affiliate stuff and, um, you know, different things like that to be able to create any other sources of revenue. I'm re redeveloping my website. You know, I'm probably going to come out with some uh, presets and filters uh, uh -huh. to sell. So I think really it's kind of, it's kind of thinking of how can I bring this stuff more online, you know? And um, I talked to another person about probably doing some online courses on photography, things like that. So it's, it's, it's not an overnight, Oh, this is how I'm going to do it. This is, this is how I'm starting to make money. I mean, that you're, you're talking about shifting a whole engine of, of business. Um, but primarily like my clientele, I've got, I've shot, you know, tons of celebrities and, and big brands and advertising campaigns over the last 15, 20 years. And over the last few years, I've really pivoted into photographing, um, more entrepreneur personal brands for entrepreneurs like Lewis Howes and Jim Quick and a lot of these uh, big uh, online entrepreneurs and helping them build their brands out. Um, and also, I'm sure I'll probably, you know, once things kind of loosen up, I'll get back to that. Yeah. And, um, you know, a lot of that work is mostly in the U.S. So hopefully we can still travel around at least in the U S <laughs> internationally. It's a little bit of a bummer because I love traveling internationally. I just yeah. I love exploring the world. And, you know, some of that stuff is paid. Some of it's just on my own dime, you know, exploring the world, creating my own content, just wherever I'm going. Um, and I think content creation, you know, you just got to get more creative with that and like the concepts that you're creating. 
and build your, you know, build your social uh, following so that that could turn into, you know, social influence equates to money and revenue at a certain point. And yeah, of course, if you can really like focus on building those, um, the audiences, then you can, you know, start, you know, and keep your, con- your content consistent and tell stories with it and really, you know, think of how you can integrate products into that and then get brands to sponsor you in that respect. And do you uh, think, sorry to interrupt, do you think, um, like for a lot of people, they've found this career as an influencer where they're able to create content and get paid for promoting products, brands, whatever it may be. Do you feel that the lack of travel really impacts them longer term too? Like, or do you think people will just, like you did, you obviously pivoted and said, okay, I'm going to keep creating content because I feel like so many people's personal brand was revolved around traveling. So if you can't do that the same way that you used to, what do you do to evolve? Or like, do you feel like some will just fall by the wayside and the people that actually have talent and know how to take incredible pictures or create incredible storytelling will survive and it kind of weeds out like people that were just doing it to do it? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that uh, a big thing too is to kind of pay attention to, it's more about the the focus, the niche of your actual account, right? If you're speaking specifically or your, you know, your account, your brand, your brand is you. So whether you have that on YouTube or or Instagram, it's really about focusing on on what it is that you are all about. And if you're about health and wellness, then, you know, travel doesn't necessarily, it's not really affected by travel. So you yeah. double down and just like put that's your message. Now, if you're a travel influencer, that's a whole nother ball game. You know, you've got to come up with, you know, maybe a different direction or even maybe it's, it's a, uh, you know, you, how can you pull out stuff from your archives and tell stories about that? Um, at least until we can kind of get through this and see where we end up. Because the, the truth of the matter is, is we don't know what's going to happen, you know, until, you know, a couple year, a couple months down the road at least. But travel is definitely going to be affected in some capacity. So, you know, until we really actually have solid, um, solid information on that, it's really hard to, to kind of, make a specific call but i definitely think you know a lot of the travel influencers that i know have been pulling out of the archives Um, but then also it's part of like the time right you know for me i've been on my bike going through new york city and shooting photos of the empty city and you know it's capturing this moment in time that is probably you know hopefully hopefully doesn't happen again (laughs) um however but that's another way i've been creating content is just going around my own city and you know especially new york city obviously like this is a travel destination so i still think of it as a travel destination um you know my i have i have a couple different few like a few different instagram accounts and one of them is more travel specific Um, But I also have a huge archive of travel images that I've shot over the years that I can still keep utilizing and and doing that thing. But I just posted a bunch of the New York photos there, um, you know, as content. So and then, you know, my my main Nick Onkin Instagram account is just kind of more me as a creative and all the things that I'm into from photography to hats to podcasts to health and wellness and and all that. So I kind of create content with that kind of net with that narrative. That's awesome. And stories around that. And, and, and you mentioned, you know, part of what you've been spending some time on was focusing on kind of the big internet personalities like uh, Lewis Howes or Jim Quick. What advice do you give to people that are trying to build their personality similar to them? Because obviously that is a very en vogue thing to do right now. What, like, what have you seen? What have you experienced? What's like, what are some key takeaways that you've seen successful people or stuff that you've worked on that has really been effective? Yeah. I mean, I would say it's one strong message that you just, they just harp and go over and over and over again. I, it's something I need to get better at myself. Yeah. But if you look at, it's at uh, Lewis, it's greatness. If you look at Gary Vee, it's hustle. If you look at Jim Quick, it's learning. You know, you think you associate, um, a word or a message with each one of those persons. And you can see how such a big Jay Shetty met, you know, wisdom go viral, you know, like, like, um, democratized wisdom in a certain sense. Um, 
things like that. So I think if you, and then you just hustle, you have to keep putting that message out and you have to create content around that message and just keep crafting that every day. You know, Gary Vee's just like, just go hard, create content around your, around this day, 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 daily. And that's how these people like really build a name is, is really talking about that one message that they're bringing to the world. Yeah, that's actually really, really strong advice because even someone like myself that does, uh, you know, we, we do two podcasts and I always have, I'm in fashion, that's my main business, but just seeing the, it's, as, it's so simple, the idea of just focusing on one message, but it's so hard to find what that message is for each person because obviously we're not all defined by one thing, but it's hard for us to just commit to that one thing. And I think that's such great, great advice on how those people have just pounded a message. I mean, similar to our president, our president says one thing. <laughs> the only thing I've ever remember him saying is make America great again. I don't agree with it, but he pounds it into my head and I, and I know that message. So it's interesting well, you say that. Yeah. I mean, that's a great example. And you look at like, I mean, look at Obama, same thing, like hope, hope like you know obama's message of hope you know trump's message of make america great again you look at all the other opponents who lost their message got lost in the wind and you know they just like harp this one campaign message you know if and that's who and that's who wins so it's the same thing with building your brand i mean you know i think politics is like big on a branding it's the same thing you're building a brand and a message that's getting just projected into the um you know, mass media. Uh, so that's the same thing, building your own brand. It's like, how can you get your message out into the bigger media, the bigger channels, get on other people's and, you know, collaborate with other influencers, talk about your message, keep bringing that to, um, to pull people into your audience. And, and how do you do that visually? So for me, visually, like when I, when I do personal branding stuff, I'll have, I have a whole story or like a intake form that I ask, I have a series of questions that I ask. And really it's about kind of coming up with a story, you know, things that tell that person's stories through, through expressions, through locations, through props, uh, different things like that. So for instance, so we'll be, they'll, they'll answer that and then we'll have a photo shoot design consult call where we develop the creative and then we actually go and do the shoot. So stay for someone like Lewis, you know, his brand is all about greatness. And so he was like, what should we do? You know, I was like, and I was like, okay, well, the first time we went to Iceland and shot, which was epic. And it was like the whole idea of like him small and these grand landscapes, right? This just like great feel of greatness. So the next shoot we did, he was like, well, let's, let's up level that. <laughs> so I was like, great, let's do, I would say, let's, let's go to Cappadocia, Turkey and um, photograph you amongst the hot air balloons and like the whole idea of like rising to your greatness and just like this like scape of, of, of hot air balloons all over behind you. And, and they, cause they, you can stand at like the places that you go, they like, they get, they just come right over your head. So we, we shot like in the hot air balloons, we shot like with the hot air, like on the hotel with the hot air balloons in the background and in different places. So to really illustrate and bring that concept to life. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really cool. And, and I think, you know, obviously not everyone can, you know, have someone like you, you know, to work with. So I think, you know, I think if we can hone in on the message, then it, I think visually you'll start isolating what ideas that you could probably execute. Is that the best way to think about it? Yeah, exactly. It's it's really kind of thinking about your brand in a uh, story, like the storytelling assets, the, the the ideas and the concepts that tell who you are. You know, some people it might be I'm a family man, and so I, some of my entrepreneurial clients they're heavily into family, so we've shot them with their family. You know, as with them as kind of the hero, but still um, as you know in that context, in that. Um, that storyline so it's telling that story without being like oh like too straightforward um but i do i you know i do have a uh, a free ebook on how to elevate your visual brand and oh, great. that's uh it's over at nickonkin.com slash personal brand uh and it has it's a whole book on how to like elevate how and how to hire the right photographer and and all that kind of stuff things to think about questions to ask um and to get you thinking so 
That's amazing. Well, yeah, thank you very much for sharing that. And then what's the best way to, for everyone to check out all your content? Because you, you do have a lot of really cool photography. Where, where is it all placed? Yeah, I mean, at the moment, I would just say go to at Nick Onkin, my on Instagram, and everything stems from there, like links to my websites, uh, you know, my other Instagrams, the hats. I have like a whole photographs account um, that's separate than my main account as well. Um, and uh, yeah, all my website links and podcasts and stuff like that is all uh, linked from that that location. Amazing. I mean, I think me for somebody that has uh, been focusing on building a brand, I definitely had not figured out a single message. I've been struggling with that for quite some time. I think it's just because I do so much for a living. It's hard to focus it down to one point. So I think that's a great takeaway. And I think um, visually how to apply that too. I mean, it's such challenging things, but if you apply it like hope and make America great, those are just the best examples at scale that have clearly worked. Sure, those two men comprise of much more, but those messages are so powerful. Yeah, absolutely. And there's people that can help you help pull that out of you too. I have, I have some people if you need uh, that you can go through these different processes and really kind of extract that, that message to put it forward. That, that, that would be amazing. I'm going to definitely check out your ebook to start. Thank you very much. Absolutely. My pleasure. Well, thanks for your time. Um, be safe out in New York. Keep taking those pictures out in the city because New York is still probably the best place in the world to take pictures. <laughs> absolutely, man. <laughs> uh, absolutely. But thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, brother. Take care.